Hey there, welcome to Toe Motion. I got over 25k subs. So you know what that means. Giveaway time! Information about the giveaway and how to enter will be on the end of the video. But for now, let's make Franger. For those who don't know who Franger is, it's one of my three mascots. Kitty the hamster cat, Motta the raccoon rabbit, and Franger the wisp. I made these characters back in animation school for a simple 2D animation practice. And for some reason I got attached to them and they became my mascots. So for my first giveaway I will be making Fringer, then Motto and last Kitty. Well, let's make Fringer. I want Fringer to be in combination of two of my previous dolls. Gengar and the Sparkle Mouse Princess. I made a sketch, but in the end, she'll be getting so much more glitter. For this repaint, I'll be using this Monster High Create a Monster Daughter of the Blob. These dolls were from a line you could fully customize. The head's easy to remove, and there are extra holes in the back for a tail and wings. Just like my Ganger doll, I'm going to give this doll different kinds of hands. So let's shorten those arms. That looks good for now. For some more preparation, I made some wefts out of acrylic yarn. This color is so saturated, it's almost blowing up the camera. For our outfit, I'll be using the plastic wrap technique. I first cover the body, and after that again, by drawing on tape. I draw on the pattern, cut it out and trace it on fabric of choice, leaving some sewing space. Then I sew the pieces together. As you can see, I made a revealing opening in the front. You will see why later. But first, I need to harden the ends to prevent them from curling up. And why not already give it some sparkles? Speaking of sparkles, as you can see, this doll is transparent and has some holes in the back. So, I thought it would be nice to do a little experiment. Through the holes, I'm going to fill the transparent body with glitter and rhinestones. To prevent the glitter from falling out, I hot glue the holes. I also fill the legs. I'm filling the whole leg as you can see. But I will give the new owner of this doll the choice if he or she wants some more glitter movement in the legs. So you can still take off the legs to add more or less glitter. So pretty how the glitter is moving. Now for our new hands. Just like Gengar, I will make them out of wire and fabric. I make matching gloves and glue the new hands to our arms with a two-part epoxy glue. When the glue is dry, I give the hand some body with the remaining fluff from the hair wefts. I hold the fluff in place with bandage tape. Now I can slide the gloves over the white fingers and sew them to the dress. I'm also closing the back of the dress. To keep the front piece in place, I have to glue it to the body. And in the process, I added some glitter. Well, a lot of glitter. To keep the glitter in place, I cover the dress with mud parch. It 
It clears transparent but makes the dress a little bit stiff. But she's still fully poseable. And now finally the face. To match the face or frame you more, I first have to cut off her ears and nose. Then I mix up epoxy clay and shape a new face. I wait one day to get it fully dry before I paint the face with acrylic paint. To give the doll some more ghostly vibes, I'm going to cover the face with liquid fluo. Ooh, nice, it really lights up in black lights. Some pastels to cover up the brush strokes and a spray with Mr. Super Clear. And we're off to give her a new face. Like I mentioned, Franger is a wisp. It's sort of a ghost or a spirit myth. In popular media, you can find them in Brave or World of Warcraft. By the way, Fringe's name is a combination of fear and stranger. Although it looks cute, it will reveal its teeth where you are not looking. To give Fringe's signature black eyes and V-shaped pupils, I use acrylic paints. And now for the question of the day. Why did you start doll repainting? Well, I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but I'm a professional stop motion animator. Making stop motion puppets is a small part of a long process of making a stop motion short, what takes about a year to animate. It's really relaxed me to make stop motion puppets, but making them just for fun would be too expensive and would take too long. But one day, my boyfriend showed me this image. I got so inspired, bought some secondhand fashion dolls, and now I'm here. Do you have a question for me? Leave it in the comment section, and maybe I will answer it in the next repaint video. Back to the face up. I signed the doll on the back to make it a legit doll motion repaint, and spray the head with Mr. Super Clear. Time for hair. I roll weft and glue it in the center of the head. I continue gluing on wefts in a spiral until we have something like this. To give it a neat finish, I glue loose wefts. To make her a little bit more girly, I glue on fake lashes, gave her a pink gem, and gave her some shine in the eyes with a high gloss varnish. Some styling with an eyebrow razor, and finishing it with some more sparkle. Guys, it's time. Have a safe journey!
Frangia will be going to a new owner. But I will also adding some Dutch candy. Like Toon Chocolonely with raspberry pop rocks flavor. Autodrop pink wine gums. The famous kaneelstok or cinnamon stick. Wilhelmina peppermint, mint with a Dutch queen on it. Fanko top drop. If you're not from Central or Northern Europe, you're probably not going to like licorice. But we Dutch people love this stuff. Stroopwafels or syrup waffles if I translate it. I also add a small goodie bag with random figurines and some stickers. Oh yeah, that means congratulations in Chinese. Yeah, I looked it up. Some extra glitter, maybe I want to add some more. A pink doll stand. And last but definitely not least, Franger. I still need the address on this package. So here is how to win. First, you need to be subscribed to this channel. You must be 13 or older to enter and you need your parents consent to enter if you're younger than 18. Because of course I will be needing your address. And last, leave a comment under this video with hashtag doll in it. I will announce a winner in two weeks on Instagram, see at dollymotion and in the beginning of my newest repaint video. If that person doesn't respond within 48 hours, I have to pick a new winner. I would like to thank my patrons. With your support, I'm able to keep making content here on YouTube. So, thank you so much. And like always, like if you liked it, and sub if you loved it. See you in the next video. Bye.